So in today's video we are going to be discussing who is the best at contemporary dance. I got my information off the next step wikia and if they're not on that list then they're not in the list. Like you might be there's some people missing but I've got it off that list so if they're not on the list then they're not in this video. They'll probably be in a different one. So I'm going to be ranking them from best to worst. So at the bottom is Tess. Tess battled against Amanda for a spot on the internationals team. She came from Elite. I just thought apart from that spiral spin I'm going to call it. Like nothing else was really that impressive. Next is Emily and she just does a few moves that are not really that impressive. But she's known for great business woman, great studio head, and great dance captain. That's what she's known for. She's not known for being the best at contemporary. So next we're going to talk about Jude. And Jude auditioned for the team in season 7. Jude I thought was okay-ish. She just did a few moves, like, I think she did kicks, she did leaps, she did turns. But I didn't think it was that impressive. She was better than Tess, she was better than Emily, but... I liked how nice she was and how she wasn't that arrogant. How she's starting to share when she needs help, like help with choreography, which is good. Thing for her to learn to do. Jude has dyslexia, that's what she confesses in one of the episodes. Skylar's next. And Skylar's quite good, she's got some good moves, but she's not very clean, like, sort of stumbles out of them and rushes a bit, so I'm not completely sold on her dancing. I've not been sold on her dancing since season 3, her audition for B Troop. I do apologise, I just burped. I'm sorry. Next is Piper and I think she's never impressed me like loads. She can now do her aerial which is good but in terms of contemporary I don't find her as impressive as some of the people at the top. So that's that really. Cass is next and I thought Cass is actually quite good considering people think she's a bad dancer. She's really tall and got really long lines. Her extensions are good. She's a very good contemporary slash jazz dancer. Which I think is quite good. Something different. Because a lot of them are quite bendy, like it's a lot about tricks, whereas she's jazz contemporary, which I quite like to see that contrast. Next is Riley, and I'm not fond, fond of Riley, I just always thought that she's not as good a dancer as people make her out to be, so that's why I've not put her as high as everyone else. So that's why she's where she is on that list and I can't really rank her higher because there is better people than her. She's not the most technical. Her best solo was Mountains, I'd say her season 4 solo. Next is Beth and I'll put Beth more as a jazz dancer than a contemporary dancer because she said in her audition that she kind of likes to be crazy and a little bit loud. I like to express that within her dancing, which I do like, but in terms of contemporary, I'm not really convinced on her. I prefer to watch Beth do jazz than contemporary. Next on the list is Ozzy, and I think Ozzy's got much better in his dancing in season 7, so... That's why he's where he is, but... I do think his character's gone back to where it was in season 5. So we could find that no one takes him seriously. So that's very. Couldn't put Ozzy any higher because he's not got as many tricks. 
Next is Jake and he auditioned in season 2 and season 3. I thought Jake was quite good because he literally did some really big flips that like I enjoyed and he can turn really well. I just don't like the way he does his arms when he turns but his turns are actually quite good. And he also auditioned in season 4 but I don't think he was as good in season 4 as he was in the other two season auditions. Next is Heather and I do like her dancing but I'd probably put her more as an acro dancer than a contemporary dancer. Like, I know she says she's a contemporary dancer but I liked her season 4 solo where there was lots of acro. It'd be nice if she'd stayed doing the tricks she did in season 4 and season 5 because she was so good at them like, she's really good at acro. But she never danced confidently, that's one thing I've never seen her dance with much of. I liked her in the regionals video, but she didn't really stand out. It would have been nice if she could have stood out more in the regionals video. So next is Jackie, and Jackie, uh, she's good at contemporary, but I prefer to watch her do either acro or hip hop than contemporary. Like, she, in my opinion, is more of an acro dancer than a contemporary dancer. But she is quite good. I like her leg kicks and leg holds because of how long her legs are and how impressive they look. But I wouldn't really put her down as a contemporary dancer, in my opinion. Next is Michelle, and I like her dancing because she dances from her heart. And... She realised by season 5 that the next step was her home and now she's left, which is a shame because she was only in the first episode. Her dancing's good, like I like her technique, she's got such good technique. Really good. Next is Amanda and I liked her dancing, it's really good. I love how it's not just about tricks. Like, I actually do think she's really good. But, she doesn't get the credit she deserves for how good her dancing is. Next is Eldon. And he's got a lot of tricks, but I prefer Noah over Eldon. That's why he's only in third. Like, he was branded as the best male dancer, but I don't see him as the best male dancer. I see that there are better people than him. Him and he does, he got a bit arrogant in season three, I'd say. Next is Noah, and he's really good. Like, he could do 30, uh, more than 30 pirouettes, which is good. And I like how he's not just about pirouettes, he can do more got so good tricks like when he leaps in the air it's really good so at the top as you can probably guess it's Daniel I love Daniel's dancing he's got so much emotion so much technique really good and he's really good at his dancing so that's why he's at the top because he's just good at contemporary